Welcome back guys, this is Dragosh and I am currently in lockdown here in Berlin. Yes, we have one month of lockdown, so no comedy shows. Uh, I'm still working from a co-working space as you guys can see, so I'm doing a couple more content stuff, I'm working on a couple new videos, and I'm uh, restarting the podcast, uh, and you know, the theme is Labrador Energy. We interview, I interview people that have this particular Labrador Energy where they want to do and discover new things, right? So uh, we had Rohit in the last episode, in this episode we're going to be talking to Abdullah who actually follows me on Twitter, uh, TikTok, and uh, YouTube. Follows me on uh, TikTok, and uh, we had a quick chat. He's 17, he's from Saudi Arabia. He has a part-time job, he works. It's 40 degrees in Saudi Arabia. We talk about camels, we talk about life. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of the podcast. And if you do want to be on the podcast, just send me an email to dragosh at gmail.com, and hopefully we can have a chat uh, in this forum going forward. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. So the, yeah. the sound is okay, yeah? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you okay, hear so Abdullah, clearly? thanks a lot man, for agreeing to have this chat with me on the Labrador Energy Podcast, which is like my podcast that I'm trying to do with uh, people from around the world, yeah? They're in different nationalities yeah. and just kind of learn a bit more about uh, other people. So you, uh, tell me a bit more about myself. How did you find out my, uh, my comedy? Uh, I was in the For You page on TikTok and I saw you do stand-up and I laughed. Okay. So I went to your page mm-hmm. and uh, I added you. Okay, perfect, man. And you are, you are, where are you calling me now from? Uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, very nice. Where in Saudi Arabia? Like a small city, big city? Yeah, small city. Okay, far, very far nice. away city. So does, uh, yeah, I don't know too much about Saudi Arabia. Maybe you can answer some questions for me. Maybe I'll learn a bit more about your, your country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, So do people, is it common for people to speak uh, English in Saudi Arabia? Uh, it depends. Like if you're in the capital city, of course, you'll have uh, some people talk uh, English uh, very fluently. Mm-hmm. But in my city, maximum... From 40,000 uh, people, 100 people speak English. Okay, this is a small city, yeah? Is it close to a big city or whereabouts in Saudi Arabia? Maybe I can Google it. Yeah, yeah it's uh, 200 kilometers away from uh, a big city. Okay, very nice. And how did you end up learning, you know, being one of the very few people in your city to speak English? I used to live in a big city. Ah, very nice. Where did you used to live? Uh, in the east. Okay, and then you moved uh, to the city with your family, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see it's very Orange sunny now there. How, what's the temperature like? Uh, now it's Friday, so of course it's going to be hot. But not like, uh, it's not very hot to Saudi Arabia. 25 degrees, 40 degrees, where are we, where are we sitting? Maybe 40 Okay, it's pretty hot, bro. That's fucking scorching, yeah? <laughs> <It's> pretty, <laughs> yes. yeah. So you have the AC on in your car, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's on three. Perfect, I'm free. Perfect. Tell me a bit more about yourself. So you, you're studying at the moment. What are you doing? Uh, I'm studying. I'm in 12th grade, uh, senior year mm-hmm. in high school. Mm-hmm. I'm also, hi- I have a job at the shoe store, mm-hmm. uh, six days a week. Okay. Uh, Friday is my off. And the school is uh, easy mm-hmm. if you study. Mm, what else? That's a, that's, I, like how you, I, I like how you said it. It's easy if you study, yeah? Yeah, yeah, easy if you study. Very nice. And what, what do What's, you want to do? So this is your last year of high school, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My last so what's the plan, man? You know, you're also working. You're very responsible. You know, you're, you're, you're studying and working at the same time. Is that common for like, uh, you know, teenagers in Saudi Arabia to work and study? Uh, no, no, it's not common. Everyone okay. has, uh, you know, everyone have a money. Okay. Has a dad. Everyone has a dad. Can do a lot of shit with uh, any responsibilities. Okay, I see. Okay, very nice. But you're, you're, it's good, man. It builds like character. You're, you know, you're starting off, you're, you're building your own kind of uh, discipline, yeah? Yeah, being responsible. Very good. That's a very good start to like your adult life, you know. And what, uh, what's the plan after mm. you finish high school? Have you decided what do you want to do? Do you want to study? Do you want to go to university? Do you have a decided profession? Yeah, I've done since uh, first year. First year. Uh, to go to a company called Aramco. Oh, okay. This and, is the biggest uh, oil company in the world, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm still planning to do it. Uh, go to the company, apply for a job or a study or scholarship so I can go to uh, London mm-hmm. or America and hopefully they accept. I mean, your English is spot on, bro. And I guess it sounds like your grades are also very good, yeah? Yeah, yeah, 98%. 98. Look at you, man. Congratulations. Congratulations, yeah. yeah? And uh, what... Uh, so well, it's, it's, I'm sure it's a lot of hard work, yeah? And then, for, for example, in uni- 
in university, what do you want to study? Do you want to study like uh, what? Uh, petroleum engineering? engineering? Engineering. Like engineering yeah, yeah, for yeah. Yeah, petroleum, right? Any, any, anything that contains engineering. Okay, very nice. Math, and then, I love it. Physics, I love okay, it. Okay, that's awesome. Glad, glad to hear the passion. How did you discover your passion for math and physics? Uh, physics uh, in the freshman year. Uh, math uh, from uh, KG. What is KG? Uh, kindergarten or what? Uh, kindergarten, yeah. Uh, and, and then basically at the moment, do you also do computer programming? Because I know a lot of people that do engineering, they move to computer programming. Right, to, to coding. Yeah, I, I'm learning, I'm learning. I don't have a laptop uh, or a big PC, but I'm just seeing the YouTube uh, videos, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you're, you're doing most of your stuff from your phone, yeah? Yeah, yeah, most of my stuff from my phone. Okay, and then like the study from... anything from your phone. Yeah, this is, this is very true, actually. This is very true. It's the, the phone is effectively a supercomputer at the moment, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, very nice. And how did you, like, on TikTok, do you spend a lot of time on TikTok? You said you found my profile on TikTok, right? Yeah, yeah. I didn't spend that much on TikTok ever since I uh, met your page. Uh, I just go on Instagram, most of my time on Instagram. Okay. Uh, YouTube, um, on uh, studying, uh, virtual meeting mm -hmm. on Microsoft Teams with the teachers. Okay, uh, okay. Do my job, of course, uh, st seven hours a day. Sleep. Yes. Okay, how is your how is the how is the corona situation in Saudi Arabia? Uh, when it started, everyone uh, locked down, twenty four mm -hmm. hours lockdown. But now it's uh, still good. No, no, it's being controlled. Mm -hmm. Being controlled. Can people fly into Saudi and, Arabia and out of Saudi Arabia? Uh, it depends. Uh, if you uh, on your situation, if you have mm -hmm. like an important situation, like you need to go to Germany, for example, for uh, uh, medication. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go. But if you just go like to Jordan for a picnic. No one's gonna give a single F about you. Gotcha. They're gonna say no. Okay, so you can go to Jordan for a picnic, yeah? Yeah. Used to go for a 40, 40 degrees picnic and forty degrees, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, is that the common destination <laughs> for uh, for for people from Saudi Arabia? Do they usually just go overboard to Jordan? Is it very close to you guys? No, 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 no. Maybe the connection is just a bit. Uh, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah. But the it's okay. I can cut. I can cut out the pause if it's interrupting. There's a big lag on the on the network. Can you still hear me, bro? Can you, can you turn off your camera? Okay, I stopped. I stopped the video for you. Can you still hear me? Ah, uh -huh. okay. Uh, anyway, so Saudi Arabians usually go to Turkey to Abu Dhabi. Of course, uh, mm -hmm. it's a near city, near country. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Jordan as well, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, the connection is a bit okay, weird. Well, uh, uh, basically, I, I continue or say what? So basically, I've shut down the. Uh, I've stopped the video for both of us. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. I can. I can basically. You know. I can cut out this conversation. Uh, this this like little interaction yeah. between us. Uh, but let's see. So basically, I think it's because it's yeah. too much bandwidth. It's causing a bit of issue. But anyway, just just I, I'll just keep the video off and then just tell me a bit more. So say so you, you see, uh, what I heard was you go to Jordan, Turkey, and uh, Abu Dhabi, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of Saudis do. And then you can just go there with no visa, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. But you can go with no visa. Okay. And do you have any brothers, sisters in uh, Saudi Arabia? Are you a single? I child? have. Uh, I have. Nah, nah. I have five brothers. No oh, wow. Okay, that's a big family. Yeah, that's an only guy family. You must, your yeah. dad must be very happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very happy. Muscular family. Yeah. Is it the muscular family? Yeah. Is it like? Uh, <laughs> is there a lot of like prestige associated with having you know uh, the sons versus daughters in Saudi Arabia, or how is that culture culturally? Oh, this is, uh, this is each other. Who wins? Ah, okay. So you're very competitive. Yeah. Yeah, not me, but uh, you know the other males. Of course, yeah. There's the, the macho, uh, the, the testosterone filled guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, and your yeah. brothers, uh, are they younger, older? Yeah, yeah. I have two younger, uh, uh, three younger brothers and two older brothers. Okay, very nice. And they're they already university studying or what are they doing? Yeah. Uh, one is uh, in Aramco, Khalid, the older one, the oldest. Mm -hmm. uh, he's 20, 23 years old. Mm -hmm. And my brother, Amar, mm -hmm. uh, in the university. Uh, mm -hmm. in Jeddah University, near uh, near me, near mm -hmm. my city, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, twins. I have twins called uh, Talal and Majid. Uh, this is your younger they brothers, are yeah? In, yeah, yeah, younger brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, they are in freshman year, high school, and mm -hmm. I have uh, my youngest brother is Ali. Mm -hmm. He's uh, third grade. Okay, okay, very good. And uh, Abdul, so have you been? Have you had the chance to go outside of uh, Saudi Arabia, like to other countries in Europe or the US yet, or is it mostly just the Middle East you've kind of hang around so far? No, 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 no. mostly the Middle East. Okay, and then what, do you have any particular country you want to go visit, and what, why is that? Uh, yeah, uh, two countries, uh, three, uh, three countries in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, one, of course, is America. Mm -hmm. You have to go there. Okay. And uh, the second uh, is uh, Britain, uh, uh, England, London. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the third is Germany. Berlin. Okay. So, so why why America? You said you have to go there. Is it just because of the culture? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, because of the culture. You have to go to uh, LA. 
mm-hmm. they were still like there. And uh, England, uh, England's my city, like some people used to say. Okay, okay. The the London or where where, where exactly? London, London. Okay, very nice. And why Germany? Now that's Germany's on the list as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I want to see you do stand up comedy. Ah, uh, very good, man. Well, hopefully I'll come to Saudi Arabia and do some comedy there. Yeah, get uh, get get yeah. to do some of those it's those. No, those... it's not common. The stand up comedy, it's not common. What's what's the capital of Saudi Arabia? Is it Abu Dhabi or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. capital. Of... Riyadh, yeah. Uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, uh, UAE. Not UAE, Riyadh, sorry, sorry, okay, confusing. My Middle Eastern yeah. geography is not. Uh, Riyadh, Riyadh, Riyadh. Okay, Riyadh. Riyadh. Okay, very nice. It's the capital. City. Do you guys have well, what? What's like? Do you have a lot of stand up comedians in uh, Saudi Arabia? Not very, but uh, we have famous. A couple of famous ones, yeah. Famous, yeah, yeah. On like Netflix or like Saudi Arabia Netflix and stuff. No, no, no. The, we don't have the. Well, I also want to ask okay, you what the comedy uh, special? You mean comedy special, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, we didn't have this. Not yet, yeah. Okay, well, hopefully, hopefully soon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then in, uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you. So, like, you, do you spend a lot of time on YouTube? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what kind of uh, do you follow, like vloggers or like YouTubers? What kind of YouTubers do you follow? Uh, YouTubers are uh, two kinds: the educational ones and the funny ones. Okay, so very interesting. Like I, I've never heard of like what's the educational ones. Who do you usually watch for educational stuff? Let me see if I can Google some. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know Chris Kazat. I don't know that. Who's that? Chris Kazat. Yeah, I think he's a German. Uh, is he from Germany or where is he from? Uh, Germany. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know the, I, I know the, I, I've seen it before, but I didn't know it was called this. Oh, okay, interesting. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Let me subscribe to this. Okay, and what are the other ones? Uh, the educational ones are. Uh, you've got some very, uh, you've got some very, uh, you know, good taste for uh, for your age, yeah. You're not sounds like. And what about the entertainment ones? Uh, uh, the funny ones, uh, KSI, J. J. Okay, Oshin I know G. KSI. Yeah, yeah, KSI. Okay. Uh, PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Yeah. Okay, PewDiePie. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what else? Do you play uh, Among Us? David Dobrik. David Dobrik. Okay, yeah, the big ones. Yeah, I play yeah. Among Us with my friends. Okay, very nice. Yeah, I've just started. I just put it on my phone yeah, uh, yeah. recently. I was like, oh, okay, because I saw so many videos of like. Uh, uh, PewDiePie playing Among Us, and I was like, okay, let's uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, no Among Us. Yeah, it's nice, nice, quick game, right? It's very hard. Yeah, really? it's, it's very hard if you play with uh, uh, sweaty players. So, do you play with the what? With the sound on, or do you play with how do you play? Uh, with the sound on, of course, but you mute from your phone there's or from where? Just muting or uh, did right. from, from your phone. phone. Okay. So you you can you can play because I have yeah, I've been trying to play it. from my phone with the sound, but I, I don't know exactly how to do it. But uh, Among Us seems very easy to kind of understand and, and you know kind of get a hold of. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully I can play more of it. I was thinking of something insane. Oh uh, yeah, go ahead. Did you know that we have a uh, an, uh, a camel auction? You have a cam- camel there. auction. Yeah, yeah, we have a camel auction. Okay. <laughs> Where is it's the camel very auction? Stereotypical. It's very stereotypical. Very stereotypical. Yeah. Uh, no. Do you yeah, own yeah, any very... camels? Um, personal me, no, no, of course not. Mm-hmm. Um, you know the. Uh, the north side, the far north side of people, uh, of course, they have camels. They have uh, they have all sorts of animals. Okay. You know, uh, okay. farm farm animals. Yeah, yeah. Did you know what's the mm, most expensive camel? What's the most expensive camel? Sold? Uh, called the uh, Arion. I don't know what does that mean in Arabic, mm-hmm. but it's sold for guess how much? Five million dollars. Take a guess. Did you hear that? Five million dollars. Uh, let me see. Just say, yeah, yeah, five million. No, no, that's not five million dollars. <laughs> Take How another much? guess. Okay, okay. Go uh, higher. More, the, higher, okay. How about yeah, forty-five yeah. million? No, actually, you say you're just close. Very 53 close. Fifty-three million. Okay. Fifty-three million. Okay, well, wow, that's a very what the fuck? Why is so expensive? I don't know. Uh, I can't say. <laughs> it has to be like the Sheikh bought it or something, like some 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 very rich guy, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, of course. No, 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 no. That's a very uh, yeah, uh, rich guy. It's the family. Ah, I see. I we see. have families, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the rich families, yes. Yeah, the rich families. And they bought it because like it's it's like pure bread or beautiful or what exactly? What, what what's the yeah? Value? It's uh, beautiful. It has a long neck. You know, can produce a lot of uh, semen and uh, the, um, uh, can produce a lot of milk for the females. Can you produce no, a lot of semen. A, a beautiful <laughs> color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you, did you know the semen is the most uh, expensive uh, liquid? I did not know that. <laughs> it's about the, the, the horse semen. Uh, yeah, yeah, the horse semen uh, for a gallon. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll pay roughly about uh, thirty million. Dollars what the fuck? Are you what semen. thirteen million for a gallon of horse semen? But like, this has to be like very high, 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 
high-end horse team, yeah? Yeah, the, yeah, of course. The, but it's not here. It's not in Saudi Arabia. It's the, you know, the uh, horse racing. Ah, I see. I see. But it's like very, very kind of exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they can, yeah, yeah. So they can produce a, a more uh, horse race racers. Okay, okay. So they, okay. It's basically, basically rich people hobbies, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, if you want to put it that way, it's rich people having hobbies. You know, hey man, what do you think? Well, I spent thirty million dollars on semen today. How what did you do? How rich are you? You know, <laughs> like that's that's yeah. a flex. Yeah. That's a flex. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's a big flex. A big flex for thirty like million dollars, bro. In the, in the job, like thirty no, no, million dollars you, on semen is, the, the, is the biggest flex say, ever. But thirty yeah, gallons is like a lot of semen, man. And you say, my semen, my jar of semen. It's more, it's more expensive than your house. Yeah, exactly. It, like, for real. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, what the fuck? It's like, you know how much uh, 13 gallons of semen is? That's like 50. Flex on Gucci or on jewelry. Yeah, yeah, of course. We, we flex on the camels. You flex on camels. 14 million oh. camels on oh. the daggers. For daggers? Yeah, daggers. Like Prince of Persia kind of daggers? Uh, no, no, fancy daggers. Fancy daggers, okay. Well, that's a, that's a very interesting. Maybe I can use that in my comedy, yeah. you know? Saudi Arabia's, they flex on daggers and, and, and camel semen, okay? Some yeah. Weird, <laughs> that's some weird dynamics, man, you know? Fucking, three million, you know, you, think, you, think, you, got, you got Lamborghinis, golden yeah. Lamborghinis? Well, I got 13 gallons of horse semen, my man. Lamborghinis? Yeah, because you know, like, yeah. when, you hear about, when you hear about, like, you know, the Arab stereotypical thing is, like, you know, you see people with, like, uh, golden Lamborghinis and then fucking tigers in their, in their cars. Yeah, we also we also have that. We also have that. Yeah, people. Uh, not in my city, in the capital city, in Riyadh. Riyadh, yeah, just like that uh, Arab. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's very intense, man. And then, uh, uh, for example, is is it is that very prevalent in the culture? Do you have like reality shows, like you know how like in the U.S. they have, uh, you know. What's yeah, yeah of course. Crims? I mean, hey, 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 hey. No, no, but do they do yeah. uh, the reality show that I'm talking about? Is you know like MTV Cribs? Yeah. Do they have like MTV? Uh -huh. Ah, we, we, we used to, we used to have, we used to have, but, but it didn't go well. So didn't go well. People were like, these, these rich motherfuckers, yeah. <laughs> they just flex in. They have, uh, uh, I once saw a fountain of a kid house. Mm -hmm. A kid owns a house. Mm -hmm. Has a fountain cost $4 million. Wow, that's insane. So what do the people I think about uh, yeah, this kind yeah. of, you know, wealth? Like, you know, obviously there's a lot of wealth in the country. What the people are like, you know, the way to it is to go join Arman Armanco or to like, you know, is there a, like, is there a lot of uh, ways to reach that element of wealth unless you're in the families? Yeah, pass it to another. Yeah, that's the only way. To the, like, so a lot of son, to the sons. Gotcha. So like if you're, if you're yeah, born yeah. into that, then it's tough to kind of reach that level of money, yeah? Yeah, yeah of course. Interesting. But I think, you know, with education, you can it's do a, a lot. Kind of easy. Yeah, educational. Yeah, of course, you can do a lot. Of I mean, you see all these guys that started all these multi-million dollar companies in the U.S. They, you know, they start off with just like, you know, programming. Yeah, yeah, of course. We, we, have, we have people like this. We have so many people like this. We have, uh, we have a company called, called Noon. Noon. That is, uh, yeah, yeah, called Noon, mm -hmm. which is a, a letter. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going against Amazon. Oh, really? You know in, in Saudi Arabia? Yeah, in Saudi Arabia. Oh, so that's locally developed company, yeah? yeah? I mean, we have Uber, we have uh, uh, a lot of companies like that. Oh, very nice. So what's the, what's the, what's the local equivalent of Uber? What's the, your local Uber version? Do you have Uber or do you have like a competitor for Uber? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have Uber, we have Karim, but Uber bought it. Ah, we Karim, okay. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, Kayan, yeah. but, uh, gotcha, okay, yeah. I remember Karim. You know Karim? I've heard about it before. It's like a, a, a basically a, start a startup that was there, and then you said Uber bought it, yeah. Oh yeah, Uber bought it. Very nice. Do you use Kareem a lot, or is it just mostly you? Because I see you have your own car, yeah. Yeah, I have my own car, but if I don't have my car, uh, in my city we don't have taxis, mm -hmm. uh, and the city is too small. Yeah, like you go, you can go anywhere mm -hmm. by foot, mm -hmm. or uh, mm -hmm. you have just your friends who's free to do anything. Like they can pick it up and do the shit uh, you have to do but is it realistic to go you know, by friends, foot uh, but uh, I'm not, uh, in your city because it's so hot you're like 40 degrees is it realistic to go around by foot uh, everything's near me okay to, uh, so, so sometimes you go out just walking yeah uh, rarely uh, since i have this uh, car mm -hmm. uh, i don't go out this much 
Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty good. And then your friends, what kind of stuff do you guys do for fun? Do you have like go to malls or do you play like I don't know Call of Duty or what do you guys do? Uh, do you have do you have like a mall in your city? I mean, it has to be a mall because it's like a no, no, city. no, no, no. We don't have we don't have mall city. If you talk about more like a big space with a lot of uh, uh, stores and uh, you know mm -hmm. fun things to do, no, we don't have that. But we have a small, very very small, like a wealthy woman's house. Okay. Kind of a uh, kind of mall. It has oh. nothing, nothing in there. And she but, welcomes you know, people there, or she she's okay to have people to at her house, or like is this a random woman, or who is this? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I mean, I mean the the size. Ah, okay. The see, see, mall. See, see. Gotcha, gotcha. You have like a smaller mall, like a like a baby mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like a baby camel. But we mall. have, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, if the people are bored, uh, they can uh, go to cafes, you know. Mm-hmm. But there's no yeah, alcohol, right? Well, alcohol is forbidden. Alcohol. Yeah, so you guys don't do. There's no alcohol. You just go cafe. You have some tea. You know, some. Uh, what else do you have? Some shisha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, shisha depends on the cafe. Okay. But so I don't do shisha. You don't do shisha, yeah? No smoking. As a lot. Uh, yeah, shisha is uh, very uh, expensive here, huh? In Berlin. Uh, in Berlin is. I don't think it's expensive. It's it's you know because basically, especially Berlin has like a very big uh, Turkish neighborhood. So it's quite it's yeah. quite common. I mean, I've never been to a shisha place here, to be honest. I don't do shisha that much, but I don't think it's that expensive. I think it's like four. But you euros. talk, uh, but you talk uh, a lot about shisha. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, shisha is shisha is uh, because basically in Romania, you know, Romania also has some. Uh, I'm originally from Romania, so we also have a lot yeah. of uh, Arabic influences. Well, not Arabic, but it's mostly like Turkish. We get a lot of Turkish people. Um, Turkey, and you know, Turkish yeah, people they always shisha, like do, they kebab, always do shisha. Kebab, yeah, kebab with shisha, exactly. And it's uh, it's quite common. It's like you know, Romania is right at that intersection between like the Middle East and uh, Europe. Well, not quite at the intersection, but it's it's part of the used to be part of the Silk Road, I guess. So it, I hear you. I get you. Yeah, so it's it's okay. I mean, I don't do that much, but back in Romania, we used to when I was in high school, we used to go to shisha and stuff. Okay, okay. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's, let's so hopefully we can chat again in, in the future. Let's kind of uh, do you have any questions for me now before we wrap it up? Um, can you include me in your next stand up? I mean, I can try. I, I mean, say I have a friend, uh, you know, my friend from uh, Saudi Arabia told me about, uh, you know, the, the, the rich industry of horse semen. No, no, uh, not the horse the camel. The camels, the, the, the rich camels? Yeah. Uh, what yeah, was it, 53 million for a camel? 53 million for a camel. Yeah, when you, when you flex, when you have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Uh -huh. uh, the camel, who was sold for 53 million, <laughs> later that day died. Oh, really? What the f <laughs> like, it, even, 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 even the camel was shocked. By how much? He was like, I'm worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The camel was like, oh, wait. 53 million. Let me kill myself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, the, my life is complete now. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah. Did you get a refund on the camel then? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because what the fuck? They sold him a sick camel. What the, what the fuck? Why did the camel die? <laughs> uh, the, the top 10 biggest plot twists of all time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like the top, top 10 anime. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, do you know what I mean? What the fuck? Why? Well, so why did they discover why it died? Yeah, it died. I don't know why. I didn't follow through with the story. I mean, bro, like if, the camel, if the camel is worth fifty-three million dollars and it dies, then you gotta at least you know mm -hmm. pay for the autopsy. Uh, you know the people are uh, too rich to care. Right. What was the name of the camel again? Uh, let me write that down. Ariun. Ariun. Can you say the letter N? N. Uh, N. N. Ariun. Is it uh, You can say Ariun. Ariun. Uh, Ariun. You can say Arion, it's okay. Arion, Arion. Yeah, 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 Arion, Arion, yeah, yeah. Arion, Arion the camel. How do you, how do you spell yeah, it? Yeah. I want to search for it, I want to fact check it. Arion. Arion? Uh, I'll hit you up on the DMs. Uh, okay, yeah, just send, send me the uh, message on the DM. Right. All right, yeah, man, yeah, well, yeah, thanks. Arabic. Thanks for, time to, thanks for taking the time to have a chat with me. Good yeah, to kind of, you know, thanks learn. Thanks for having me. No, oh, man, good to learn yeah. a bit. Too, too bad the video didn't work for the whole thing, but I'll just, I'll just try and put this online yeah. when I get the chance. I'm just uh, happy to, to hear your voice. Yeah, I'm man, happy to, I'm, to I'm, hear I'm that fan. you are, I'm happy to hear that you're very serious about your studies and you're very determined to get yeah. good grades and, you know, go, go to London and see the world. Yeah. It's good to see, like, you know, the dedication. to go to Berlin. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people at your age, you know, they're, they're concerned about other nonsense, you know, like uh, flexing, right? Yeah, the, oh, flexing. Oh, the best thing you can flex is, is the best thing is, you're flexing is your grades, right? 90%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, my school, uh, which is a good school, by the way, mm -hmm. the best flex is your great flex. Exactly, man. Very good. Okay. okay yeah, well, we didn't have people. We have a uniform. You have uh, your uniform called top. So we are not allowed to wear uh, Gucci or J Jordans, you know, the $2,000 right, Jordans. Right, right, right. Or a big watch. 
Oh, we don't have that. Sounds like uh, sounds like the That's education edu- the education in your city is good. Then they have a good uh, good priorities. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and the whole of Saudi Arabia has a very good education. Okay, uh, awesome. Compared man. to America, of course. Well, of course, I mean compared to America at the moment, it's like punching down a lot of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm sure they'll be okay. You know, they're, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna survive. Um. All right, man, then uh, we'll wrap it up here. Thanks a lot for being on the Labrador Energy podcast. Happy to hear that you have Labrador Energy, you know, and I hope to see you in Berlin or in Saudi Arabia at some point, yeah? Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. Cheers, bro. Have a nice evening. A nice nice afternoon, yeah? Yeah, Uh, yeah, afternoon. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay, bye. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dragush, uh, straight from the stage. Wanted to thank you a lot for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please do subscribe, like, and comment. And also watch some of my other videos. I've got a bunch of videos throughout this whole channel, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you, and see you in the next one.